Welcome to Shady Grove Elementary. I am Joy Siegel, fourth grade teacher here. Um, our students have been working with circuits for the last week. Yesterday, they investigated what makes the circuit work, worked with some conductors and insulators. One thing that's really special about our class is we believe in questions, we believe in innovation, we believe in problem solving, and we believe that we don't always know the right answer, but as long as you know who to ask and you know where to go, you're going to be able to figure it out. So I don't know everything. So today actually joining us is going to be uh, Miss Christina Aquilina, who is our school's ITRT. She's gonna be working with Makey Makeys, which is a brand new tool for some of our students. Pretty new tool for myself as well, so I'm gonna be learning right along with them. Um, but let's catch you up to speed on what we've been doing. So boys and girls, in front of you, you have some notes that we were just working with looking at circuits. You have already drawn in the circuit that included three particular components. Can someone please just catch us all up? What are those three components that are going to be so important when we're building circuits? Let's see, we'll pick three different people. So let's give me one. Um, LSE, can you give me one? Um, the source. Source, why are sources important? They're important because that's where you get the energy from. Right. So in the circuits that we were building, what was our source? The, a battery. Battery, yes. And yesterday, actually, when we had the Math and Science Innovation Center, we learned other types of uh, sources of energy. We were looking at solar yesterday. But batteries, that's going to be working with. Um, another part of our circuits that's so important. Jackson. Um, a path is like what, where the atoms are like, the, the power source go for it keep going keep going like well i forgot what they're called that goes through the wire you are right you are right can someone help and them out uh, that's how that forms the path for going over and flowing through like the battery right you are on the so right track with atoms can we add on to that oh but can you add on to that and like, so Right, you corrected yourself, right. It's gonna be that negative the negative side that's gonna be going. Right. It's gonna be those electrons. So those are our paths for going those wires around, those charges. Last piece, uh, Hasida. The user or, um, or the load? User the load, what, Ooh, tell me about that. It's basically, the, um, yesterday's experiment we did, it was the light bulb. Okay, what is the other light bulb? Um, the other loads light bulb. What other loads might you be able to use in a circuit? We've used a light bulb, but we could use some other things. What other things might we be able to use? Or what's something else you might be able to use? Um, you might be able to um, have a little speaker that the electricity will turn on. Oh, down. absolutely. Speakers. Sure. I didn't think of that one. Uh, what else? No. Uh, in staff circuits, you can do a fan or a radio. Yep. You are absolutely correct. You can do fans. Lila, what else? Maybe like a game. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. I could not have scripted that better myself. It could actually have something like a game, and that actually is going to, and I know there's more guys, we could do this all day long, but we're gonna to try to keep it, kind of move it along. So the game though, definitely important, because today you're going to be using what you already know about circuits, working with those pathways and the sources and the loads, and also making sure that the circuit is, what do you think? Complete or closed, correct. Because if you have an open circuit, Right, those electrons aren't going to It's not going to work, exactly. So, and this is going to be where our problem solving is really going to have to come into play. You are, it might not work the first time. It might not work the second time. It's okay, but persevere. You're going to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And remember, you've got Miss Aquilina here who's going to be helping guide through, but you also have some student experts in here who have worked with this tool before. They know more than I do on this. So they're going to be really, really a good resource. And I did try to spread those students out. So we're not gonna need our notebooks out right now. So you can just close it and just move it off to the side of your desk. Don't put that knowledge away though. Keep that knowledge in your brain. Yeah. 
And I'm going to have Miss Aquilina actually guide us through what is going to be our yep. next step. So we need one person from each group at your table. And you can put your hands down now because I'm going to ask you to choose amongst yourselves once I'm done, um, amongst yourselves once I'm done giving directions. Um, so one person from each group needs to go get one computer, log in as you. And then we need another person from each group to come back to the back table and grab a makey makey, and which is a little box. Hang on, hang on. The little box, and then you also need two containers of Play-Doh. Two containers. Okay. So decide now, and then go get all your materials. Okay. And actually, some of you guys, guys, this whoa, 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 this is one group of three. Guys, you're actually two groups. Two groups. We're trying to give you more space. You guys are actually two groups. Two groups. That's why I put you in a group of four. Guys, you're actually two groups also. So you actually can have two groups. And you guys are actually two groups. So Ava and I just left another two groups. So you're going to actually need two kits. So like Jackson went back to get one set. So we're going to need a second. It looks like Duru's got it. So this way we can do like half and half. I think that'll work really well. So perfect. Because this way you've got two, you got four people going on, two and two. Perfect. You can't. I think that'll be really helpful. It's perfect. All right. And guys, you, we do have enough kits that we can actually split this into two groups. If you, oh, you will find out. If you want to work together, I think to collaborate as one group, that is fine too. Okay, you are going to need one more computer then. Fingers. Your fingers are what? No, Think yesterday's. Are the energies? Mm, the energy is those electrons. Though. Well, your fingers are a lot. Yesterday, when you worked with circuits, when you built your circuit yesterday, and you put a bunch of different objects in the middle, what were you checking? You were trying to see if something was a what or a what? It was um, a conductor or an insulator. So your fingers are making this work, yes? We're a conductor. There you go. So, do you see that? What are you doing? Now you're just using the keys itself, but what about using this? Does it work? Tyler, does it work with just this? Well, let me try. Yeah, flip, flip the board over. There you go. Okay, why does it work? Think about what we did yesterday. Okay. So why do your fingers make it work? Let me move it. Let me move my mouse. Okay. So think about yesterday when you built that circuit. You left a gap. And then some things worked. What things worked? 
Okay, some metal things. What were those those things? They had a specific name. Anything that allowed the electricity to flow was called a what? No, I'm putting you on the spot. It's brand new vocabulary, guys. It starts with a C. Think trains. Conductors. Yeah. So this means your fingers must be. Because if they weren't. Very good. Sam, do you want to put it on? Oh, you do this one. Here. No, no, this one. Put it here. And then do we put these in the play doh? Awesome. I don't know. Do you? Uh, I think last time we did. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, I'm taking out some play did you girls notice anything that's on the Makey Makey on here that you see on the piano? Uh, well, yeah, this is Space Click, and then the up, arrows, down, which are right here. Okay, so good observation. Good observation. All right, do we have any extra wires? There's one right Let's here. Let's see. Hmm. I wonder what this wire. I wonder why they would include an extra wire. Uh, put it uh, back here. But they, we don't need this. Do we need those? No, because it's just space clip. What would that last wire? Is it an open circuit or a closed circuit right now? Oh, it's an open. It's an open circuit. Right, because these guys aren't going to be. We're going to hook it up with Play-Doh. You're right. Well, let's, let's put the Play-Doh. I like your original experiment of putting the Play-Doh on there. Let's do that first. Um, they're, trying to, they're putting the Play-Doh on, okay. but then we're talking about how it's an open circuit, and we're wondering how we're going to get it to work. Ooh. But I think... Exploration. I think Ava has a little... She's got a little bit of knowledge on this. A little bit of an idea. Okay. okay. It's my turn. That's true, because if it is open, it shouldn't work, so... I got this injured my pinky the other day. So let's remember what these... What yeah. these are on here? Click and space and the arrows. Like this is click. So look which one's first. Over there. Yeah. What does the play doh do? I don't know. What does the play doh do? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> no one knows. I don't know. Let's get it all hooked up first. And then I think you'll be able to make an observation about what the play doh does. No connection. Ooh, come on, Mott. Yeah! Last one? No. no. One more. The only one that's not right now is the blue one. From Earth to Earth. Could we go from Earth? But now this is our closed circuit. Yeah. So let's try just having one Earth, one Earth hooked up. Take this one out. You hold the Earth with this hand, and now touch this with the other hand. That's cool. <laughs> I think you just closed a circuit. Alright, what have we got? You don't know? Okay, well, what have you discovered? Let's start with that. Now, here's something though. I notice you don't have anything touching the earth or the ground part of it. Is there a reason, yes, the bottom, the earth part, is there a reason why? But yet you guys, you've got all the earth. And notice theirs versus yours. Yeah, yours is doing all sorts of things. And look at where, and look where their wires are all connected versus where yours are. They've got some Play-Doh as well. That's why it's working. Wait, did you see that? What'd you do differently? And your hand, look where your hand is. Where your hand just was, it's on the earth. Mm -hmm. So there must be something. Oh, yeah. Okay, so investigate that. Take that, see what you can come up with. Is there a way to make a song? I wonder, I wonder if you could actually figure out how to make a song with it. Okay, you got one? All right, let me hear Let me hear your masterpiece. Okay, but you can only use the Makey Makeys, that's the challenge. We're going to wrap up real quick. So what I would like to hear from each of the groups is one interesting thing that you discovered 
as you were working with the Makey Makey. So I'm just going to zip around real quick to collect your ideas. What is one thing your group found? Uh, excuse me? Okay. What else? Do, what did your group find out? Um, that you have to connect the wires um, a little bit in one hand and then Okay, we're not going to collect it right in right this second. What did you, what'd you group find out? Okay, all right, the ladies. Um, so, um, that this one chord can play all Which Which chord? This one chord at the bottom. Oh, at the one that plugged into the earth. Yeah, and, okay. this, and all the chords are attached to all of them. And then if you um, plug all those chords in, and then you plug this one in, then, the, then it can play all of it, all of the um, Okay, music. okay, very good. Guys, what did you learn? Um, we learned that uh, Play-Doh can be used as a safe chord Interesting. Um, my group at the back computer. Um, we learned that if I touch the Play-Doh and the um, wire that's connected to the earth, it'll work. But if I touch the earth and Lara touches the Play-Doh, the piano won't work. Interesting. All right, what about my computer that was right there? We found out that we don't actually need Play-Doh for it to um, make sound. Okay. Because um, you can just go to the tip of the wire. Okay. Yeah. I'll see that. Wait, I'll see that. Were you finished? I didn't want to cut you off. Good. Okay. So you're telling me that electricity can flow through an entire ring of people. My last group. Oh, last group. Okay. Thank you for joining our classroom today. We hope you learned a little bit about circuits and got to experience a new tool with the rest of us. Thanks so much. Shady Girl!